All right, you know, we have all heard the only guarantees in life are death and taxes. And while the tax deadline is pretty set in stone, we don't know when we could pass away. And no one likes to talk about it, but there are things that need to be done in order for that when that day happens. Stuart Welch with the Welch Group joining us now in studio. Oh, this is great. Welcome back in. It feels like it's been a while. It has been a long time and the studio is just awesome. I just can't believe how yeah. nice it is. Well, you know, we're, we're discussing something that is more of a responsible, mature type discussion. Yeah, I think actually these are easy mistakes to, to make and we just had a situation where a husband died and the wife went to use her credit card and, and it didn't work. Mm -hmm. And the reason it didn't work was because the credit card was in the husband's name and she was listed as a user. So she had been using it as if it was her card and in fact it wasn't. And so at his death it just canceled all the cards. So we said, okay, we need to do a segment on this. We got four things we want to talk about. Right. And the first one are the bank, bank accounts. Yeah, bank accounts. So a lot, of, particularly in second marriages, people will ha come to the marriage with separate bank accounts and they just leave it that way. And then typically one of the couple, a lot of times it's a man, is paying all the bills. Mm -hmm. And then if he dies, there's not enough money in the wife's account in order to kind of step up and do that. So you want to either make sure those accounts are joint or you want to make sure if they're separate that both spouses have enough money to pay bills for several months. So that's that. We just talked about the credit cards. Right. So on credit cards, you want to make sure that there's credit cards in both people's names, mm -hmm. both of the couple's names, and make sure that you have, you know, adequate uh, credit limits mm -hmm. on there. Mm -hmm. And then I think auto bill paying, and here's a, here's a really tricky one, kind of goes with both of those because like all of my, all, most of my bills, and I suspect you, right. are auto pay. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's on my checking account and it's, that account is in my name only, and I die, mm -hmm. my wife is there going, who's paying the bills and what are the bills? So you don't know. So you want to make sure if you're auto paying out of a credit card, auto paying out of a checking account, that that's in a joint name, or you want to make sure you have a really detailed list of what those bills are and when they're due. Yeah, and your last one that you want to talk about is one that really could be a, a prolong the situation for you, are the safe deposit box if you don't have that properly set up. So lots of people have safe deposit box. They are often in one person's name because they're the ones that happen to go down to the bank and open it up and they're keeping, you know, their valuable stuff in there. Sometimes people are keeping gold coins and particularly a lot of papers that they, they might need. When somebody dies, the bank uh, seals that safe deposit box and it cannot be unsealed until the, it goes through the executor. Mm -hmm. So it can be a very long time. So you want to make sure that you have those boxes in joint names and you want to make sure you know where the key is. Yeah, so Stuart, real quick, somebody's watching. we got about 30 seconds left. They're watching right now. They haven't done anything. First thing that they need to do right now to, to take these steps into motion. Well, I think the first thing is you go through the four points, the bank account, credit cards, auto bill paying, and safe deposit box, and say, what is my situation? Do I need to